Hello everybody. This will be Life is Strange Before the Storm, Farewell. The last episode, number one. And I will say more once I can pause it or something. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> in your room? That's the that's for the backyard. I could have easily put you in the hospital. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! Oh, right. <laughs> um. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, it's, um... It's different because I'm I'm actually still in the middle of doing Alien Isolation too, um, and I'll actually be uploading one of those today. I'm gonna be uploading right now. Number six is the latest one uploaded. I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna upload this entire episode at once, like consecutively, after I upload number ten of Alien Isolation. I'll tell you what, it's, it's it's kind of a nice thing though because I'm used to the tense atmosphere of Alien Isolation to now go back to something more lax like this. Plus, it's episodic, and it, it feels kind of good to do so. Plus, Life is Strange, when I first played that one. Um, now, Before the Storm didn't get, didn't quite reach the same bar, but the original Life is Strange, I don't even know how to, I don't know what the word is, but that, that was one of the most, whatever the word is, experience that I've had in a long time in gaming. Like, I got, like, briefly addicted to that game. Um... So it's nice to be doing this again, and plus this is a nice bonus episode. Oh, and one thing I recently found out, I mean, uh, in case you don't know what Farewell is, it's a bonus episode for this game. Um, which I think I probably just said, oh well, who cares. Um, one thing that you probably already know that I didn't know when I was playing through Before the Storm the first time around. Because uh, I blamed the new voice actor for Chloe on, like, I don't know, Horizon Zero Dawn shit. But apparently there was a strike of some sort, I don't know. Um, so she, so like, people couldn't come back for their roles, which makes zero sense to me, though, because apparently Ashley Birch is on a, her thing is on a, she's on a strike, so, um, she can't play one game, but she can play Horizon. That doesn't make any sense to me, but, hey, whatever, man, I'm not the, I'm, I'm not a voice actor, I don't, I, truth be told, I don't even know how strikes work. I, I'm, I'm used to, I'm used to working under the government, and working under the government, you can't strike, that's illegal. Um, so I'm, I'm not used to this sort of thing, so that being said, um, you're insane. That was amazing. I think it's insane, but I'm going to go with what Max would say. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's Even I think. No, I think it was retarded. I mean, I, I had Max say otherwise, but I think that was retarded because of the fact that it's in her fucking bedroom. Why would you explode shit in your fucking bedroom? Do that shit in the backyard. Like, are you dumb? Why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. I actually I'm not sure. She She's asked pretty lax. Get rid of my old junk. She never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If oh, by the way, this isn't. In case you don't know, this isn't a flashback. This is the actual game. 
it takes place before before the storm. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. So my first objective in this game is literally throwing shit away. Well, not literally, figuratively, because that would mean feces. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. Wouldn't doubt it. I mean, we have any, I don't even know where you, I mean, okay, like, outside the college dorm, I don't even know what your actual house looks like, Max. I can't believe those days are all over now. Although these guys are, these guys are still young, though, so, like, even if I do have the chance, like I did in the original game, to have it be, like, a romantic sort of relationship, I mean, I might kind of do something, but, like, it'll be subtle. Like, I, I'm not gonna be, because these guys are too young. I mean, one's 13, and I don't know how old the other one is. Probably 15, 14. I don't, I don't remember their ages. My whole family moved to Seattle. Actually, that means no William is probably still alive in this one the entire game. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Oh. Uh, by telling her? Is it gonna, oh, this, so this is gonna be about Max leaving. Okay. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. You know, I must say, Chloe, for what are you, 13? I mean, you're pretty tall for, I mean, okay, so either you're really tall for a 13 year old or you didn't grow a single inch in height from 13 to 18 because you are about as tall as like you should be like in the main game right now like you sh I feel like you should be a lot shorter let's see Chloe's such a nerd she hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies yep this I'm pretty sure William is definitely still alive here this is going to be weird playing a game where William is still alive the whole time. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. I know you would. Wait, what is it though? Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Okay. Fuck it. I don't give a damn about that crap. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> yeah, funny back then. <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were ten. Although, to be fair, well... Don't you think it's time to let the boys go? Not yet. Boy toys stay. For now. Boy toys? Live fast, the oh. die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. My God. See, I, I gotta admit, like, I used to do that. I, I don't do it anymore. I now I actually put my laundry in a bag. Um, but, yeah, I, I used to do that, too. Though. Just leave it all on the floor. What is this? Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And... I'm pretty sure it's missing Oopsies. Pieces. I'm also pretty sure you guys made that game up so that way you wouldn't have to pay any uh, fees to anybody, like Monopoly or something. Because I've never heard of a game called Oopsies. I have, however, heard what of Hungry Hungry Hippos. Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Chloe, 
We haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try. I mean, I don't believe in throwing shit away per se just because you haven't used it in a long time because it doesn't mean you don't want to use it later on. But considering it's missing half the pieces. Hi, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. The board game doesn't erase your shame. The memories do. And you still have your memories, don't you? Okay, how about you be more specific about what you do and don't want thrown away then? Send shit to me that seems like total trash is like, I don't, I don't know, know, lost treasure to you. Old toy that Chloe no longer plays with. I guess so, I don't know. I mean, she's not specific on shit. I think she still has that shark in the main game. I think? I don't even know if I ever saw it, but it looks like something she would have. Acceptance letter. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Speaking of acceptance letter, I got accepted in the university in real life, so yay. Well, that was an admittance letter, but yeah. And now they're offering me a chance to live on campus, and I'm going to politely tell them, fuck no. To the parents of Chloe Price. Dear parents. You didn't really see me say that twice, but I mean, kind of redundant, but... Um, congratulations, your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2000... Holy shit, this game takes place a long time ago. Um, wait, when does the first game take place? I don't even remember anymore. 2013, probably? 20... Well, the, it came out in 2015. I, I didn't even know it existed until so in 2017, but it came out in 2015. So, fucking A, this shit takes place a long time ago. Unless it, ta unless it takes place... The main game takes place before it came out. I don't know. I don't know this game's timeline. For September 2008, admission to Blackwell Academy. Oh my fuck, dude. She, oh, wow. <laughs> we, uh, we have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. <laughs> well, uh, damn, dude. You know, honestly, I imagine where Chloe's life could have gone all the way had it not been for, like... Had it not been for a dad, for uh, her dad, um, for a dad dying, and like, that's kind of I don't know. I'm trying to imagine it, cause like, cause the only scenario the game gives you if he does, if he survives, is she's paralyzed. So uh, I, I kind of dislike that. I'm mean, not in the developer's part, but it's, it kind of sucks where it's like, cause like, like no matter what, no matter what, Chloe's life is like a pile of shit because <laughs> like on one hand her dad dies and she spends the rest of her life depressed partially because her mom never gave her therapy um and other issues that she has with um david which makes zero sense but that's part of the that's part of this game's problems that, that's deck nine's issue right there and then she's eventually and then either her entire family and city are wiped out or um, she's murdered anyway over drug money, or if I remember correctly. Either that, or she's paralyzed and wants to die. Like, can she not just have a good life where her dad lives and she goes on to do great shit? And I don't know. She, well, I mean, to to my knowledge, um, Chloe's a lesbian, so like, I don't know, fucking Mary Max or some shit. Have a surrogate daughter or some shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, your child excelled in all cr uh, all criteria for admission. Um, an open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is... Wait, so she's not admitted yet? Wait, what? Wait. She's been accepted? Okay. Maybe it's just... Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe... The, doesn't admitted and accepted mean the same thing? Or does it not? I'm not sure. Um, I've been admitted to my university. I don't know. Then again, I do have before I'm actually enrolled, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, for those who require financial, um, well, technically, um, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, that guy, who I don't even think has ever been introduced. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. 
What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're yes. Fine. Mm. I'll push one time, just one time. If she still doesn't want to talk about it, I'll leave it alone. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people, like you. What are you gonna get homesick? Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I I hate <laughs> fake people. You're real. And I have Thanks. to admit, she is describing Blackwell pretty accurately right there. Uh. Height. Yeah, I was just talking about the height. Like, the, I don't know. These people's height makes no sense to me. Like, she's about as tall right now as she should be in the main game. That makes no sense to me. Wait, was she this tall in the flashback to the main game, too? Because I didn't notice it back then if she was. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. Well, if it's a gag, I don't know. I mean, Chloe's picky as hell about everything. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it to- That's a jawbreaker? I didn't even Get know that. Get how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Well, I didn't know that you said that, so... You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. I mean, that's fucking disgusting, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. I, I would like to do that. Hey, did you see my dad's camera yet? As a matter of fact, I haven't, but Chloe's into photography. Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. <laughs> Your dad is the best. Sure, just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. You pressed one button. Wait, did you even press a button? The first picture. Actually, it's kind of cool. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. I agree. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Barely. You were right. switching in one box the whole and time, not throwing away day. shit, and then I kept on trying and you kept on denying, so not really. Yes. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I Fuck guess if I know. now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Oh, well, yes, then I'll do that, because I'm not an asshole. Or Unlike I you, could Max. Let us enjoy the day first and. Tell her later. Nah, fuck that. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. I believe in being upfront about shit. And there we go. I don't think I need to uh, edit this out because that wasn't very long. It's. I. Just fucking say it, Jesus Christ, I'm leaving, I'm going to Seattle. How fucking hard is that? Like, I, I don't understand how people, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe some people have trouble with, like, I have never had trouble with this shit. Like, people are always like, how do I tell somebody this? Just fucking tell them. Like, I, I don't understand how you can have an issue with telling somebody this shit. Just say, Chloe, I'm leaving to Seattle, so let's spend what time together we can. It's not my choice, my parents. How fucking hard is that? know how to shit max hold that thought are you fucking kidding me this must have fallen out when i was digging around in here do you have any idea what this is i don't oh actually there's a scroll and crossbones whatever it is it looks like it came out of our pirate phase your powers of deduction are as strong as ever well, it's kind of hard not to know that. I mean, the skull and crossbones, it literally told me everything. You don't exactly have a biohazard waste type shit here. It's from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we Actually, that sounds interesting. Old. That's crazy. 
I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Well, considering you guys sound pretty much the exact same now as you do in like five fucking years, I don't imagine it's that uh, that different. Then again, eight to thirteen is a big deal. I then again, as far as uh. At your actual aging body goes, I think uh, 8 to 13 is a bigger difference than 13 to 18, so maybe. Ready to find out? So I'm pretty sure you guys have already hit, like, I'm pretty sure you guys have already hit period at this point and gone your periods and everything, so. Actually, maybe. <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> So, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, be mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of treachers. Nice. <laughs> the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. <laughs> will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh bye. <laughs> Good god, you guys. Dude. That was Off note, I've actually done something like that before. Not not in terms of an audio log recording. <clears throat> But when I was, what, I, I'm going to say 15 years old. That was actually a long time ago now to me. That was almost 10 years ago now. But when I was 15 years old-ish, I actually found, like, this kind of school writing shit from back when I was in preschool. Hiding in some random fucking box in the garage or some shit. Um, and I'll tell you what, it was funny as hell. Mostly because of the fact that since I was in preschool, I couldn't still spell shit. Uh, it was just so funny. It, it, it was, it was so funny. It wasn't quite as funny as that, because that was like, like you could hear it, but like it was still funny. <clears throat> I want to say hilarious, cause I, I got a few good laughs out of that. Hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <clears throat> we still are. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the man. Yeah, now we gotta find the damn uh, the amulet. Scripts of Captain Bluebeard. Can you just show it? Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Property. Oh fuck! Sorry. Sketch, mom. The Bane of Arcadia. Can I can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. Cockpit? Isn't wait, is that still no that I don't think it's called the cockpit on a pirate ship, isn't that um what do they call that? Is it like the head of the cabin or some shit? The 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 only I don't know that much about ships. The only thing I know for certain is things like sails and the helm and things that pretty much everybody already knows. <clears throat> Crow's Nest? I don't know. Maybe it is a cockpit. I don't know. These guys are really into pirates. I figure they probably actually know about more pirate ships than I do. Blackbeard is the one that everybody uses. You guys should use mine, man. When I was still when I was still writing the novel Flitch, I had two pirates in mine too, but they were Blackbeard and Goldtooth. Um Go go the pirate. How come we never met that cat before, huh? Whose cat is that? Pirate rules, no bathing. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Wait, then again, you were eight years old. I gotta admit, when I was eight years old, I didn't like bathing either, so I can, uh, I can get that. 
<clears throat> no, no days on the ship. What? Oh, no boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No boys on the ship. I thought it was no days on the ship. Let's see. Doesn't that sound a little bit backwards? Um, no boys on the ship. So, do you guys, like, not know that Chloe's a lesbian yet? Or that Max is apparently bisexual, based on the main game? Um, no sharing pirate secrets. I'm pretty sure that's for pretty much every friend. Um, always share plunder. I don't know, man. Then again, always bury treasure. Always... Protect fellow pirates. Was well, is this a pirate's creed? Um, failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. I'm sure it will. Fuck that. Captain's log. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shaley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it because our enemies want our treasure so bad. We must make sure the map is only readable to us. So create some kind of cipher. Um, Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and rich. Do you know one thing I gotta admit? I think I, I love the imagination of children, this bro. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. No shit. There's gotta be something to get this plot rolling. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? It's shit you guys did when you were eight years old. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know. So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? Well, the actual reason why I can't tell her now... <clears throat> It's because that would destroy continuity because she didn't say shit about it in the main game. Which is one of the bad things about a prequel, um, is that like, you already know what's going to happen. But at the same time, it, it is kind of nice to get an actual in-depth look at how some of this shit happened. The only thing I have an issue with this, well, it's, it's a 50-50% chance. Because the original game was made by Dot Nile Entertainment and this is made by Deck Nine. Um, so, like, I just, I want to know if Deck Nine got, like, any sort of information as far as plot or lore Where goes from, uh, from, um, from Dot Nod, or if they just made all this shit up on the fly. Because truth be told, like, there are, there are some gaping plot holes in, um, the original Before the Storm that honestly tell me that Deck Nine didn't even, like, consult Dot Nod on it. Maybe it's mixed in with Chloe's old books? Because some of it was very blaring. Max and Chloe's Seaware Adventure. Page one. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in class until suddenly a small squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you want to pet it? <clears throat> no, I don't. Pet the squirrel, page eight. Don't pet the squirrel, page three. What? Don't pet the squirrel, page three. Page two, you are stupid brave. Oh, okay, this is a, I won't pet squirrel. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very mean. The squirrel seem annoyed that you ignored her. She runs in and steals the book report right off your desk and runs back outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh, yeah, whatever you say. Uh, Miss Anders' response, clear not believing you. I don't know, I mean, it seems kind of ridiculous to me, though. I mean, I realize that eight-year-olds made this, but I mean, it seems kind of ridiculous to me, though, because, I mean, if a squirrel went inside a classroom and stole somebody's report, I'm pretty sure that would be something that would catch the entire class's attention. <clears throat> chase the squirrel. I'll chase the squirrel. Let's make this more exciting. Page four. As soon as Mr... You know, I, I have a feeling they did this as... I'm pretty sure this whole story is an homage towards the main game just because it's giving me different scenarios. And, like, I can like, like I can go back to one page and be like, oh, this would have happened if I did this. As soon as Miss Sanders turns around, you run, out, you run out the window and chase a squirrel. It's a very bad thing to do, and you hope you don't get in trouble later, but you probably will. Outside, you look around and can't find a squirrel. Oh, my God. 
sewer hole, you run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy, you really want to go down there, jump down the sewer. Find another I'll find another way. I don't blame you, that sewer hole thing's pretty scary, but is there any way to look down? Foosh, next thing you know, you're in the sewer. Um, do, 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 do. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda I'm starting to get kinda bored of this. Um this this story. Next thing you know, you're in the sewer. <laughs> I'll go right, and I get boiled alive. How about page nine, though? Which means left, which was right. I'm confused the distance you see a squirrel. It's a pretty elaborate story, isn't it? <laughs> that was part of a book yes. report. Take that, Rat King. I thought that was some bullshit they were just doing on their own. That was a book report. I kind of wished. Uh, I thought that would be relevant to the plot, but it's not. Oh well. Um, <coughs> drawing. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. It could very well be. I don't feel like reading this shit. Property of those people. Oh, this is this shit? Yeah, it is. <coughs> Wait, so where is it supposed to be mixed in again? Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. From Miss Shelley? Would for probably be in the backpack. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Okay, so I guess I can't look in there or here. Ah. I never like doing this, but this is something that Don't Max move. likes to do, so. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Eh. From Subject America? and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> should try. But so far, this is starting out very slowly. That's my only issue with it so far. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. I'm sure you didn't. But I want to know where this damn map is. And Chloe isn't doing jack shit, so... Oh, is that it? Please tell me that's it. Let's get this plot rolling. Bingo. There we go. Thank you. Any longer, and I would have said that was a pain in the dick. Uh, I truth be told, I don't know why this is so important in any in, in any case, but whatever. Pri Price Castle. I'm guessing that's the house. Treasure Island. I have no idea what the hell that even is. Amulet. This map tells me nothing. But I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? We need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did- Oh, actually that'd be kind of cool. You, you, we never saw the attic we in the other game. We that to ourselves. Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. <laughs> Shit, if you ask me, they're still scary. Was, <laughs> your attic is still terrifying. No, I'm not right. Well, I gotta admit, okay, I, I don't have an attic anymore, but in, in the house I live in, there actually is a basement. And uh, I gotta admit, like, uh, it, it's a pretty big basement. And um, at, like, at night, like, like, if you have, like, all the lights off, it's nighttime, it actually is pretty fucking creepy down there. Ordinarily not, but, like, when you're down there by yourself, and, like, when you're down there and all that, it is actually it's pretty creepy. It's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Yep. You're not afraid of the... Nobody's afraid of the dark. They're afraid of what's in the dark. 
Okay. And Unless you actually are afraid of the dark. Like, you have a phobia of the darkness or some shit. And once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! You were just now dogging on shit that we did when we were eight years old, and now this entire plot is about to roll, revolve around some shit you guys did when you were eight years old. Um. Huh. I'll find a way to. For something like this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Actually, when I think about that, this will probably be funny okay. now I think about that, because if this whole thing is about a pirate adventure, then it means there's going to be a lot of childish imagination going on. Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. And there we go. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. Can I, can I walk fast? I can walk faster. Yay! And these guys leave their bedroom door open so you can just walk in whenever you want. That's her shit. Oh, nicotine gun! Bro, I thought that said machine gun! I about to say, what the fuck? Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Phoenix, Arizona. That actually well, is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. For a shizzle. I don't know what that is, nor do I care. Pamphlet. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Yeah, well, that's not what she ends up doing. <clears throat> Hell, at some point in the future, I might be teaching kids. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. You don't know? You, I already read the damn letter. Saying we are thrilled to have our black will rest assured her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, oh, she seems that she is having trouble transitioning in this new, more challenging environment. I'm emailing this up a time to talk about the incident that occurred. Oh, I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior. I would like to work with you to take a step of correction as possible. I'm sure you're dedicated to do 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 Chloe's Chloe starting shit. Fight. She never gets in trouble. <clears throat> I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Sorry, my throat is... Let's see. Joyce Price. Uh, Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day. If you, if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim. She's the bully. Maybe both sides of the story were heard before placing blame. Your school would be less of a challenging environment. Bro! <laughs> yeah, school's discipline is retarded. Voice I gotta admit mail. that. I wonder if it's still there. I love how like half this game is snooping through other people's shit. <laughs> in fact, I actually found out, I didn't notice until actually just recently, but I actually found out that apparently the only way to save Kate's life in the main game, um, spoiler alert, um, is to, um, to snoop through her shit. And since I didn't do that, that's, that, that's, that, like, like, because I didn't do that, no matter what option I chose on my playthrough, she was gonna die because I didn't snoop through her shit. And even like I said, like 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 I do like even like in real life, I do take suicide seriously because of past the past things that have had that I've that I that have happened in real life to me, um, and around me. But like, and it's like I, I but I didn't realize though that she was like I knew she was upset, but I didn't realize it was that bad, um, and that's why I didn't like bother to search through her shit. Let's see. <clears throat> These types of people are good too, Joyce. People exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. Wait, what? Voice Milford. Wait, what? We figured it's I promise I love you too. Joyce Price. I forgot to tell you, Miss uh, Mrs. Rogers called to you while you're out today and left a message. It's still on the answering machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe over here. Ooh, we figured out how to handle this. I know the principal says scholarship is in danger, but I still worry. Ooh, Sometimes man. I really wish I had siblings. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Chloe does too, because then she could have somebody, like, 
she could have somebody to be with her when her uh, when David moves in and all that. <sighs> hey, Erin. Finally use your pressure washer today, and I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Looks like a charm, dream house. Do -do 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 -do. Awesome. Diner uniform. I don't care about the bookshelf. Oh, right, that's the bedroom. Can I go downstairs? I've got to find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Guess Newt. The closet. Here Wait, you guys have a... Dark. Oh, okay. I thought that door led directly to it. <laughs> I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Yeah, like this, right? I imagine that's actually the exact purpose it's there for. Well, maybe you're not too tall for 13. Well, I don't know. You kind of seem like it. I don't know. I stack on top of it. Still too short, huh? Ah, uh, son of a whore. Why not? I'm taking your shit, bitch. I know you won't need it. Almost there. I just need a few more inches. You still can't reach it even now? I gotta find three fucking things here? Wait, what? I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't care about that trophy. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another one. Thank you, Miss I Read Chronicles of Narnia. Oh. <laughs> I think that should be tall enough. Who knows? I mean, I wouldn't stand anything personal, not with books, not now with it being books on top like that. Not unless it was like one big book, but not like four of them piled on top. Find out how, how it's in the broom closet. That's a that's a pretty attic-y look. There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever? That's true. I don't even know what this damn there thing it looks is. like. <laughs> of course, Chloe hid the animal. Okay. The hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. Bro, you know what this reminds me of, man? This reminds me of Outlast, bro. Like Whistleblower. The part with uh, Eddie Gluskin, man. Spoiler alert. Reminds me of that. <clears throat> Although now I'm in this attic, I'm actually going to go ahead and save this video here. And uh, this is number one.